Get into the <clears throat> previously we discussed finding the theme, uh, making plan and starting a composition and how to end uh, a composition. Now in this lecture we are talking about different kind of composition. So we have factual composition, how to write descriptive composition, argumentative. These are the different kinds of uh, composition. So let's let's start from the factual composition. In recent years, examiners have asked about the following topics. In each case, candidates were asked to write about conditions in their own country. So make sure that you know your own country well. In some cases, questions have been repeated. For example, a question on how news is spread by radio, television, newspaper, gossips, and so on has been set on at least twice in recent years. These topics give you a good idea of what examiners have asked about in the past and many may ask about in the future. Okay. For example, travel. Ways of traveling, people's mid-term journeys, types of vehicles are shifted Ferries and tunnels, transport, general dangerous problems, news, newspaper, how news is spread to television program, social life, living conditions, your home, poverty, customs and traditions, ceremonies, place with home, facilities of disabled people, evening entertainment outside the home, overcrowding, multi-rich communities, similarly recreation and sports, pastimes, motor racing, or ladies, riding a bicycle, animal. Games and athletes a park, a beach, you know, will dancing. These are the things which you are talking about the the the, the facts. Uh, writing about your country, writing about newspaper, social living condition, uh, recre recreation and, and sport. So naturally, these type of topics you talking about the facts, factual position, economy and work. Farming and growing crops, cost of living, tourism market, exports, use of land, occupations and on the work, land, people, capital, crop, work, features and way of life of the people, currency, gifts, advice to visitors, postal services. Other topics include climate and its effect on people and their occupation, right? School or college, subject examination, school, societies, fashion and the rule of million, crime, criminal justice, punishment, etc. These topics are not surprising. The GC paper is taken by candidate in a number of countries and so the examiners look for subject which candidates know something about number B, which refers to all or most countries. They make sure that there are topics for both male and female candidates. So naturally it's a worldwide uh, examination so it's set for the people which everybody can understand easily the common topic use arranging, arranging your facts how you you are going to arrange your facts check the exact wording of your question you may expect a question asking about transport in your country but the question may ask only about ways of improvement you must look into the questions you are very much uh, concerned about the question you are asked. You are not supposed to go for earlier, but you are confined to the question where it is asked. You may expect question asking about the contents of a local newspaper, but the question may deal with a different aspect. For example, what the letters to the editor say. Find your theme and gather your facts. Then arrange them in a suitable order as explained in your 36, 38, sorry. Classify your facts if necessary, search horizontally and vertically. Topic. What evening entertainment outside the home is there in your district or country? For example, this is a topic. Horizontally, I think of facilities near my home and then farther and farther from it. This is horizontally you are talking about. For example, you are asked to write about the surrounding of your college. So, horizontally, you start from the nearby place and then go on and then farther and farther. Vertically, I check through society working from the poorest social class to the richest to check that I have not omitted anything worth mentioning. This vertically you start from the 
top from the bottom to the top now how can i classify all the types of entertainment i can use one of these methods importance put the most common or popular types first uh, this is also a kind of order you follow it for just for uh, in, in terms of importance uh, place deal first with those nearest my home this is not a good method here because i can deal with all the free entertainment and then deal with return people must pay for can you think of any other method of arranging the facts topic discuss the importance of tourism to your country this time i will write down ideas as they come into my mind money spent in the shops and hotels creates jobs in the shops and hotels forces the government to improve facilities this is the order page number 135 you can read it by yourself this this uh, the topic is uh, discuss the importance of tourism to your country it is a good guideline for you people to arrange your facts step by step right how can you in a logical way perhaps i can put them in order of importance starting with money first since that is the major importance of tourism in your country number second topic is discuss the use of land in your district or country farming housing shops factories these are the things facts you are going to arrange uh, the, the 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 facts what are the composition similarly you also follow and read the same for understanding the arrange arranging your facts how you arrange the facts and then come to the exercise write 300 words on one of the following this is your homework you must prepare one of the topic and send me to your return assignment or you keep them all in your notebook as i have told you that you must have registered in which you uh, put all the information that i'm just communicated right if you had a chance how would you improve education in your country be practical do not suggest changes with the country cannot afford to carry over this is these are the factual topics in an examination first of all you will understand what type of composition it is if it is a factual composition naturally you have to provide the facts you are not supposed to go for ideas like for example if you are going to write how would you improve education in your country and you put forward those facts which you cannot afford in your country so it means that you go against the statement for that matter you must provide the facts with logical order right how do most people in your country earn a living so you cannot give uh, information from america from other countries because in pakistan how the people live um, how the people they earn a living so naturally you must provide the facts how they earn uh, the telephone shopkeepers all these things you select one among them do write about 300 words and send me back understand i think it's enough for today we will continue uh, 45 descriptive composition for this class thank you so much